Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Sean coming at you from high level. I'm sorry, I know the camera, I forgot to switch it, but we had an awesome week last week um, hanging out with all of you at the summit, uh, but I did get way behind in my release videos. We did also announce 300 features, um, but one of the most um, anticipated features is actually out. I'm gonna switch back over here to show this to you. So we now include uh, payment integration support for NMI, Authorize.net and Square for SaaS. That's right. So a lot of you have said, hey, I, I need an alternative to Stripe for SaaS. Well, today's your day. You now have three uh, uh, additional payment gateways that you can use for this. Um, don't worry, we're not stopping there. We're gonna move, move it out to all of the uh, different payment gateways uh, and also out to any of the third-party gateways as well. But this should open up the world to almost all of you. Um, so when you get a chance, definitely check it out. Um, the, on my screen here, there's also, uh, this is sort of a co-mingled one here. Um, so obviously uh, multiple payment gateways in the SaaS platform and also in the products configurator. That's why this product configurator on my screen. Um, but on the uh, in the SaaS, on all the SaaS stuff, you can now do multiple uh, payment gateways. Let's see if there's, there's not really a screenshot for this, I think, I guess is why, why they're doing all of the product stuff. But um, anyhow, on the SaaS configurator, what you do here is you can configure product to work with either a normal payment product or a SaaS product. Oh, I think this is why, because the SaaS products are inside the uh, the products. So that makes sense. Okay, a SaaS tab is added to configure details, uh, just like uh, category credits, all of that, rebilling, price limits, etc. Um, what to expect? A new SaaS onboarding flow guide uh, will bring you through how to set up those SaaS um, locations. Ah, I see what they're doing here. They've made it also a lot easier to create SaaS products. So that's that's what I'm missing here. Let me see if I can get the uh, I will get the help doc also on this to make sure we've got this all figured out. But point is, is that you can now do this with all these different payment gateways. So this is very exciting. So anyways, I hope all of you are having a great start to your week and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.